In this video, we will learn how we can manage the book related entries. So we are going to implement this book section, which will be managed by admin only. So we are already logged in with admin here. If I logged out and re in with users account, then I won't be able to see all of these sections. Now let's re in with admin. So here is our list of books and we are displaying all the list of books. In the real world scenario, we do not show all the list at once because this list might be thousand or ten thousands, then it will be a burden on the database. So in the real world scenarios, we must apply the pagination and we also have the search filter here and the sorting options if you need to apply those things then you have to do it on your own it is not the part of this video here we have this add more button and from here we can add the entry of the book so let's just suppose it's a uh, book one and this field is not a mandatory one we can leave if we want so here let's add one more entry and in this entry, we are going to upload the image also. We also have some validation here. If I try to add the PDF file, then I will get this error. Let's update this image. Let's replace it with this. And we are good. We can also delete the images. So these are the features that we are going to apply in this video. So let's get started. So first and foremost, we are going to look into the book table. So here we have our book table. And if you are looking for this theme that I am using, so I am using this night owl theme. Let's move to the coding part. And here we have this book table which will have the fields id book name author name price image genre id so these are the fields that the table have we are going to create the dto4 book so create the book dto class inside the dto folder and add these fields there id book name with this validation author name price image and genre id and these two fields so this one will hold the file which we are going to save and this one will hold the list of genres so our view will have a drop down of genre list and we need to pass that list to the view so we will need some kind of data structure for that so we will use the list of select list item for that we need to save all of these entries to the database and here in the image section only image name with extension for example image one dot jpg it is the image name with extension is going to be saved we do not save the full path and the image the actual image will be stored inside ww root inside this images folder so the actual image will be saved here and its name will be saved into the database when we update the image the name will be updated in the database and the old image will be deleted from this images folder and new image will be saved here and when we delete the record from the database, we also have to delete that image from this folder. So that is the logic behind image upload. So first we will define a service for handling files, create a folder shared and inside this folder, create this file service class and this file service also contain the interface. I have created it here but you can also create it separate file and this i file service will have two methods 
first one is save file which will return a string and takes these two parameters i form file and the allowed extensions the next method is delete file which will only take the file name here we have our file service and we are implementing this interface we have injected iwebhost environment here we have the save file method which is taking two parameters i form file file and allowed extensions let's work on this save file method so here we are retrieving the web root path which is the path of this folder www root so first we are retrieving this path and here we are creating a new path with combining www path comma images now our path will be www path slash images if this directory images exists then okay otherwise we will create a directory in the www root folder then we will find the extension of the file which we are getting here so if this allowed extension array contains the file extension then okay otherwise we will throw the invalid operation exception in our case only jpg jpeg png files are allowed then we will create a new file name which will be unique so we are using guid and extension now our file name will be a guid dot extension for example if our file is dot jpeg then guid dot jpeg now we are creating the full path with file name so we will combine our path with file name now we will create a stream here file name with path and file mode dot create and we are using the using keyword here so it will automatically handle the stream it will automatically close when it is not needed now we will call the copy to async method with a wait keyword and at the end we will return the file name without the full path on the file name with extension for example if we have created image one dot jpeg file then we will return image one dot jpeg now here we have this delete file method and first we will retrieving the ww root path uh, which is this ww root path with the help of environment dot web root path now we are combining our file with this path and images folder after that we will check if this file exists or not if it does not exist then throw the exception otherwise delete the file and after that you have to register this service you need to add this line builder.services.attransient i file service comma file service after that you need to create this book repository which will have this interface and it have these methods add delete get by id uh, get books and read book and we will implement this interface here we are injecting the application db context through the application through the constructor injection and here we have these crud methods so it is just a plain add book method it is the update book it is the delete book it is the get book by id and this one is the get books method we need book data along with its genres then we are using this include keyword here then it will automatically fetch the related genre record for the books once you create this repository you have to register this service here add this line there do not forget to register the services otherwise you will get the error after that you have to create a new controller which will be a book controller and this controller can be accessed only by the admin so our authorize roles equals to roles dot admin here we are injecting these three services book repo zandra repo and file service through this constructor now we have this index method 
here we are just retrieving the books and returning the books to the view after that you have to create a view for that you have to create an add view i already have created it, so i'm just going to the view on the top we are adding this model so add this line here here we also have this add more button which will redirect us to the add book method of the book table we are checking if model.count is greater than zero then display the records otherwise display the no records now inside of this if block we have this table which is displaying these fields so if image is null then so the replacement image for that otherwise so the actual image and so these entries also we also have these two buttons for the edit and delete when we click on this delete button it will call this window.confirm method and it will open a prompt and ask are you sure to delete or not now we have an option of deleting or leaving the record now here we have this add book functionality it is our get method so we are retrieving the genre list we are projecting that list into the select list item with the help of select keyword and here we are creating the select list text will be genre name and value will be genre id then we are creating a new object of type book dto and genre list will be genre select list we are passing book to add object to the view now it is our post method which will take parameter of type book dto and here we are also retrieving the genre select list we are updating the genre list and assigning the genre select list to it now here we are checking the validation inside the try block first we will check if image file is null or not if image file is not null then here again we are doing one more check if image file dot length exceeds the 1 mb then we will throw this exception image file cannot exceed 1 mb and it is the invalid operation exception we will handle it separately here it is our allowed extensions array now we are calling this file service dot save file method and we are passing image file and allowed extension in the return it will return us the image name which we are storing here and set book to add dot image equals to image name now here i am doing the manual mapping of book dto to book you can also use the auto memory if you want book book equals to new and assign these fields here we are calling the add book method and setting the temp data success message and return redirect to the add book now we are handling multiple exception so if invalid exception then set error message equals to ex dot message and return to the view if exception is file not found exception then set this exception dot message to error message and return to the view and otherwise for all the generic exception set the generic message error on saving data and return to the view you need to create a view for it so create a view for it and on the top add this line book tto and here we have this diff inside we have this heading and a back button which will redirect us to the index page and we have this form with this action is add book and here we have this enc type multipart form data it is a necessary attribute you need to add otherwise you won't be able to post the file now we have few fields here like book name with the validation message book name Another one is author next one is zandra which is a drop down list so we will use this select element here and asp4 equals to zandra id asp items equals to zandra list and this is the list we are generating here and passing to the view so it is a list we are displaying here and the option value so by default a user will see select zandra option and variation message here now the price and the last one is image and it will be the type of file at last we will create the submit button and it is our add book method now let's create this method 
update book which will take an id of integer type and here we will find the book from the book repository if book is null then set the temp data success message and actually it should be the error message not the success message set this error message book with the id does not found and redirect to the index page now find the zanda list that just like we were doing in the previous method and you need to do one change here we are also setting the value of selected field so if zanda.id equals to book.zanda id then the selected field will be true and now here we are just converting book tto to the and here we are converting our book type of object to the book dto type of object and pass this book dto's object to the view and here this is our update method so here first we are getting the genre select list and we are setting the value of genre list here and we are checking the validation and here it is the the old image variable is a holder for the old image as the name is suggesting first we will check if image file is null or not if image file is not null then we will check its length now it is our allowed extensions array and here we will call the save file method which will return us the image name and here after saving the file we are setting the value of old image from the book to update now we are replacing the image to the new image name here we are mapping our book dto type of object to the book object now we will call this update book method and after we update the record we will check if we have old image or not if we have old image it means we have updated the image so if we have this old image then delete the file and set the success message book is updated successfully now return redirect to the action and similarly we will catch multiple exception here now create the view for update book so it will be almost similar to the add book but it will have two changes here not two few changes like this title update book and this asp action will be update book we also have these two hidden fields here for id and image and here in the image section we will also display the image if image is not null here update the title of the button that's it after that we will create the delete functionality so we have this delete book method which takes one argument of integer type now first we will fetch the book from the database if book is null then set the success message again it should be error message set the error message book with id is not found else await book repo dot delete book if book image is not null then we will delete this file and let's put this parenthesis here and also put the parenthesis here it is more readable we have implemented the book section if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this so that's it for now see you next time